What is up guys, it's Nick. We are back on Bless Unleashed, back on the Mage. Um, we picked up a new outfit. They added a couple of new outfits to the Lumena shop, or the Lumina shop. <clears throat> so we'll hop over here and I'll show those real quick. They also added a couple of new mounts in here as well. Night Stalker is actually a pretty cool looking mount, but we have a mount that's decent. So for now, I'm not going to pick one up. They added the Dauntless armor set. And they added the ballroom costume. So I have the ballroom costume on right now. But uh, let's hop back into our playthrough here. So we need to defeat the Black Warden. I finished the other uh, quest that we needed to do, which was simply to uh, kill or er, extinguish flames. You guys didn't need to see that. So, let's get into this. So, I actually already killed the Black Flame Warden once. Um, he's actually... I mean, he's not easy, but he's not all that difficult. So, I'm going to kite him back up here because I don't want to fight him on the stairs. And I can't dodge out of that. Okay. I need to kite up these guys. So, come on, buddy. You come with me. I don't want them interrupting the fight, like, halfway through. So, I need to kite them up and kill them. So, that's what we're working on now. Trying to kite them up and kill them. I mean, I guess I'll take the free damage while I can get it. But I do need to get them all three killed. Because they are annoying. So, there we go. That should be enough time. Bought myself... Eh, I got hit. So, that's not good. There we go. Get a little... Get what damage we can in. And then just keep kiting them up. I'm going to use one of my green potions now to get my health back. Alright, I think... Yeah, we can get this off. Now I want to hit this one because I didn't hit him with that. And I overcommitted there. Now I'm really going to overcommit because I want the free... I want that damage. Once I get the little dudes dead, that's when this becomes a lot easier. So I'm just going to continue to kite a little bit here. Get this guy out of here. Okay, so now... Now we're down to just the ward. So, oh my gosh, it didn't let me roll. It kept me in the animation. That was not good. Okay, so I'm just going to kite him here a little bit. I'm not going to full not attack, but I don't want to... See, when you do this, when you get that attack off, it's kind of a little bit of a dicey proposition. It's, it's a little less dicey now, but you can get at least this off, and I think that's all I'm going to do. Uh, that's kind of the safety strat that I found to fight him. I mean, I fought him for a decent amount of time because you can see you don't deal a whole heck of a lot of damage to him, but do deal enough. But like right there, I'm going to get hit. It just didn't work. So I'm going to kind of keep it calm there because clearly I didn't have the time to get it off. And I don't really have the time to get it off here, so I'm not going to get it off. I mean, it's my damage dealer. It's what I should be dealing damage with, but... Um, there's just a little bit of a delay there. The Scald is a little bit quicker, um, but you really can't get the third one, the main damage dealer, off with it either. See, like, right here, I'm gonna try it, but, eh, I did get it off. But, it's really tight on whether you can get it off or not. I'm not gonna get it off here, he's almost dead anyway. So, we'll clean him up, and, okay, I misjudged that, one more attack... I really? More than that? Okay, there we go. Now he's down. So now we need to go back and speak with Iris. You can see he's not too bad. He's not necessarily easy, but he's not, like, overly difficult to get taken care of. Um, I kind of like that he's, like, a repeatable boss, and he respawns really quick. So, like, if I go back there in about, like, two minutes, he'll be back. Um, not that I really want to fight him for a third time today. Can I not get up this? There we go. See, I'm gonna stop by Iris here. Make sure that nothing is following me. It looks like a jungle anaconda is. Am I far enough away? I think I am. Kill him. Should have plenty of cover here by other players. Um, this is this is a quest area, so I am expecting someone that will be covering me while I'm talking here. But, uh, yeah, I will have a stream on Monday. 
Um, I know that Wednesday was supposed to be the stream, but we had to reschedule because of internet and tech issues. So it's been rescheduled to Monday at 8.30 a.m. And I will be starting the stream out with Bless Unleashed. So if you uh, enjoy my Bless Unleashed content, please stop on by. I'm going to be doing like the daily bosses. So for example, like this here, I'm going to do all of those that are up and unlocked for me. And then we'll uh, we'll switch over to some Black Desert after that. But uh, I've got to do my dailies anyway, so I might as well start the stream out with them. I am taking one of the weirdest routes. Don't ask me what route I'm taking right now. Um, I need to find land, so hold on. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm happy, kind of interesting that you can swim. Okay, how do I get out of here? Um... Come on, clutch it, walk up the hill. There we go, nice. So we'll go and take care of this. Hopefully we'll unlock a little bit more to do now. That's the hope. Get back on my horse. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back into streaming. We're just going to be chilling, hanging out, listening to music, and uh, grinding through these MMOs that I have. PSO2 is on Tuesday, so that's going to be a big day then. Um, I will have a, probably a full day of PSO2. We'll probably start it with Bless, but uh, it'll be a PSO2 day. Full grinding that out because I literally love that game with a passion. All right, so now we need to talk to the queen. Save me, young one. Complete this quest. And we'll get on to the next one. I don't really like this area. I think this is probably my least favorite area so far. It, I don't know. I just don't like the amount or the enemies in this area. So hopefully we're going to get sent to a new area after this. There's got to be... I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to, like, the mid-end game. Um, where we are now is, like, late early game, and I don't really like it. I like the early game. Uh, so we need... We got that quest unlocked. We need to go back over here for the main quest. Can I summon my mount? Hello? Oh, there we go. What is this? So this gives us some gloves. Confront... Comfort. Not confront. Comfort. Some fairies. Okay, we'll comfort some fairies, get that. Let's collect some mushrooms, get a little bit of free XP. And some mushrooms. Okay, so we need to comfort some trembling fairies. Give gift. Oh, we gotta give them mushrooms. Okay, sweet. So I do have to pick these mushrooms. Okay, so we gotta find trembling fairies. Um, where are my trembling fairies that I can give mushrooms to? Um, oh, there's one right there, I see. But never mind, that dude beat me to her. I'm assuming they just pop up around here randomly. Here's one. I mean, this quest is easy enough. You just have to find trembling fairies and give them mushrooms. There we go. So that's that complete. 22,000, or tw almost 23,000 experience. Yeah, that's definitely uh, worth doing for 23k. We're almost level 18. I believe at level 19 we unlock another dungeon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, level 19 we unlock Null Triumvirate. So, sweet. So we're trying to get there right now. As I totally am not paying attention to where I'm going. 
But yeah, the main goal of the stream is to help progress stuff so that the YouTube videos have more, like, substance to them and I can get advanced while also showing you guys on stream what I'm doing and how stuff is going. Um, because, I don't know, it, it takes a while when I'm trying to record, like, everything I do. And so I can skip through parts of the games and stuff like that on, sh on stream that's just not as entertaining as... It, it should be for a video. Like, I could pro like I'll probably... I don't know what I want to do for this game in particular. I do want to do news videos weekly. And so I will have news videos like my Black Desert ones. But don't know what I want to do in terms of content afterwards. But we'll see what we'll see what the game offers. Hopefully dungeons and raids are fun and good enough for content after story is done. Alright, so we need to talk to the Sorza Knight. And I'm getting hit by a stupid snake. I hate that the snakes can come over here. Alright, loot it, grab that. Stand by the Soul Pyre so I can get my health back while I talk to the Sorza Knight. And we will hop into whatever next, whatever takes us next. So we need to obtain the, the no. Oh my gosh, why is there another snake here? Like, chill. Get, get him out of here. So we need to obtain. I don't even see where my main store. What? Where is my main story? Um, obtain a Null War Chief main by complete. Oh, the Null Triumvirate Arena chat. So. Here we go. So now, in order to progress the story, we need to hit level 19. Because, obviously, we can't do this quest yet. We have to hit level 19. So, we need to do stuff that will help us gain levels. Which, at the end of the day, this stuff will help us gain levels and stuff like that. I don't know. I want to see if the regular dungeons give us experience, so we're going to try Mercenary Remnos and see if he gives us experience. I don't actually remember if he does or not, but we will find out very shortly. Because if he gives us a nice little experience, then I probably will just grind him uh, and grind the uh, bosses that spawn daily on stream. Because really, that's the best experience gain that I have. And it gives you nice loot to up your gear score, so that's always good. Speaking of that, updated gear score, we're at 632. We're working on upgrading the Wanda the Forgotten and the Robe of the Prophet. They're both Bs, so I think that works pretty well right now. Um, as well as the legs, uh, the prepared camper's leg armor. Uh, they also give us great um, percentage boosts to different stats, so I like that. And so that's what we're working on now. I'm working on getting, like, B-grade gear. The main stuff that we need right now is um, shoulders and ring and necklace. But let's hop in this dungeon and see if we do, in fact, get experience from this. I don't remember. It would be nice if we did, but I'm not 100% sure if we do or not get uh, experience for this. I, I believe we do, though. But really, at the end of the day, it all comes down to, is it enough experience? But we're going to have to grind out levels one way or the other. Also, um, for uploads, uploads are going to start occurring at 8 in the morning. I'm going to put them up right before I go live on Twitch. I think that's the best course of time. And then when there are double uploads, then we'll revert back to the nighttime upload. I think that's the best way to go about it. But usually it'll be one upload right before I go on stream. And then, so that'll be the new video. I'm going to start including a quick, like, four-second uh, picture at the beginning of my videos of the stream schedule for the week. So you'll just have to bear with about four seconds of a picture popping up the stream schedule, and that'll be it. But yes, it'll run my intro, then it'll run a quick picture of the stream schedule, and then we'll be right into the video per normal. So, hopefully, okay... 
Looks like I have enough health. Hopefully this guy's ready to go. I'm gonna pop the door. Looks like he's getting up. Looks like we're all good to go. I wanted to make sure that if he wanted to wait for full health, he could. Um, I'm also happy we get a guy that's not a mage, because usually in these I'm getting ma matched up with mages, and so... That's annoying. You ready, buddy? I wish what it would do is it would put you in the queue, and then it would see, like, oh, you're a mage. Okay, so let me try to match you with every class that's not a mage, and then I'll match you with a mage if I can't find anybody else. I wish it would do that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to scald it. Violent explosion. I should have plenty of health to fight this thing. Let's get some of our mana back. I, I, the hardest part about this boss is it's hard to hit him with that, um, with the frost bomb. Like that's just a wasted frost bomb. Not gonna hit him. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Get full health. And like I, oh my gosh, I have to get so close to get to make sure the frost bomb hits. I'm gonna, I might, I don't know. That was, that was almost really bad. He's so annoying with these dagger throws because it like I have to get so far away I can't even like do anything. I'm gonna scold him again. Try and scold him again, and we're good. Yeah, buddy, I haven't failed one. Okay, can you chill? Leave me alone for half a second. The scold is big, because it does damage. Okay, we're good. I'm just going to regular heal. I don't think I need to use up one of my good potions. Pop that. Hey, didn't I don't think I've ever seen that skill before. So that's that's something new. Did get that off nice. I want to keep the scold up as much as I can. Try and get my mana up real quick. There we go. I think scold on this guy is is the best course of act of damage for me even though he's so annoying like, chill buddy you don't have to move around so much okay i'm gonna pop that just be safe there we go 28 percent health to go use this get back my mana i don't really know if this is fully worth it but i do like the concept of it. There we go. Like, I don't remember him ever doing that attack before. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I don't remember him doing that. Slaughter him. 17%. He has a lot of health. He takes a while to kill. He takes, like, uh, a little bit longer than, like, a regular boss. Which, I mean, makes sense because it's just two of us attacking him, but it still feels like it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a long fight. And there he is down. Three and a half minutes. I mean, it's not terribly long, but it feels like uh, longer than the, the normal average boss fight, I guess. So, I did not even pay attention to if I got experience or not, because I'm an idiot. So, we're going to do it one more time, and I'm going to pay attention this time. Um, so, where is the... There's like a way... Oh, it's down at the bottom. So, the bottom right, for 40% XP. So, we're going to kill him one more time, and then we'll see. I know I should have just paid attention instead of... I was, like, too concerned with looking at the time that I didn't even look down at the bottom to see if I got any sort of XP from that. So, we're gonna see if we kill him this time, if it gives us any sort of XP. I mean, that's short enough, it's just a couple of minutes to, to, to take care of him. So, we'll try it one more time, and we'll go from there. So, there is no S-grade tier 
Um, it's just A, B, C, D, and E. I'm assuming maybe later on as a part of an update, they'll add in an S tier ranked gear. But right now, looks like no S tier rank. Which is interesting. Okay, so we'll queue back up for this. Sweet, we found fast, I believe. Yep. Awesome. So we'll hop back in here, see how this goes. Hopefully we get experience from this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to grind out mobs, which is not my favorite thing to do. Because there really isn't a whole lot of side quests left. And so I'll have to go. We'll have to see about that. So not my favorite thing, but we have a level 15. I wish we, I wish we would get like a level 19 so we could just smoke this guy real, real quick. And see about the experience. I mean, at the end of the day, the boxes are good. They're just not great. See? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Not a mage. I thought for a second that that was a... That was a mage armor thing in my back. I guess we're gonna... Okay. I guess I'll go in at 94%. I'm just gonna run at him because he's gonna jump back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's do this. I want to get this off early because it's... It's easier to hit the frost bomb early on in the fight, so that's what I want to do. Now I'm going to go to this so I can get him scolded. And I. Did I really miss that? I'm going to try to just switch back off and on. Because this gets me. And that's not what I want early on in a fight. Try to get the scold back on him. Can you stop hitting me with that stupid attack? That's the only attack that annoys me in this. Like, if that attack didn't exist, I would just wail on him. I would literally not move. I would just stand stationary and wail on him. Alright, buddy, I see you. Like, come back to... Come back and play. And I missed my frost bomb. I took a hit to... Oh my gosh, this is the annoying part when he starts spinning around and they do 500 damage. Oh my god, he's doing it again. He's so annoying. He's so tilting. And here he goes again, throwing him again. I'm healing with one of my good potions. The issue is, is I can't revive this person. It's like really hard to revive in this place. So when this person inevitably dies because they're not healing, I fully expect to be soloing this. Like, just help me get it to, like, I don't know. Like, 40%? Oh, she did heal. Nice. Okay. She Her health was low for a while. Hello, buddy. I literally see you. Reappear. I get it off. I got it off, but I took a hit. Okay, we gotta use one of the good potions again, because I just got double smacked. I'm gonna get hit again if I... Oh my god, I should have just taken the hit to deal the damage. Yeah, not that time, buddy. I need to apply Skull, because we got to have damage always going. Because right now we don't have permanent damage going, and it's really not good. Pop that. Do that. I'm going to stay, get a little bit of health back. Get a little bit of mana back. Eh, I thought about it, but then it was like, eh, he's way too far away. There's no way he's actually still standing there when that connects. Buddy, stop being invisible. Eh, was that worth it? I don't think that was worth it. That was definitely not worth it. Okay, I'm gonna scold him because we need to deal some sort of damage. I'm taking way too much damage right there. 15%, we should be good to go. 
I gotta make sure he's just scolded at all times. And of course my big attack misses. Not that. Did I get that off? I did. So. Okay, we're at... Okay, nope, nope. I almost just died there. Get that, hit that, thank you. Yeah, buddy, you can chill with that. Okay, we are getting into dangerously low health territory. Okay, I'm not far enough away. Pop that. 32%. Scold is doing wonders, though, at least. Gain some of my mana back. Don't, please. I probably should have just got greedy there. I think I killed, I killed him. Oh, well, it's not going to matter. I'm going to get greedy here. Okay! Interesting victory. Didn't look at the percentage at the bottom again, but I'm gonna hope that it did show up. And... Let's see. Bag. Nope! Okay! So the dungeons don't give you experience, which is interesting. So I'm gonna have to grind out mobs, uh, which is fine to a certain extent. Not my favorite thing, but uh, not terrible. So I will... We'll grind out some mobs, get to level 16, and uh, we'll, or level 16, level 19, and then we can continue on from there. Didn't get anything usable, which is kind of tragic, but uh, yeah, I'll grind that up, get to level 19, and uh, we'll continue the main story from there. But uh, like I said, check out the stream Monday morning at 8.30. We'll be kicking it off with a little Bless Unleashed. I probably won't be level 19 by then, so yeah, check it out tomorrow morning. 8.30. I hope to see you guys there. Peace.